All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, here reacting to the college football playoff rings for week number 12. They have come out um, a couple hours ago. I was um, off at the um, UNC basketball game tonight. Um, also, support me on Anchor, um, my show, um, The Objective Slant. Um, it's going to be great. Um, and stuff like that. So um, I, I believe I'll leave. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where the link is at. Um, but I think I'll add it in the comment section or something like that. Or I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, that that's not really important right now. That might be its own separate thing. Um, you might not see me here. Um, in this room doing videos like this. Um. Maybe like the next couple of weeks after this, um, there has been some money problems, and I don't have money to pay my internet. But that's not the point right here. So let's just dive into the rankings first of all. Obviously, LSU one, Ohio State two, Clemson three, Georgia four, Bama five. That was simple and straight to the point. Oregon six, Utah seven. Those were perfectly. Can't really say much about them. Now, the Pac-12 is a lot, is about on par with the Big 12, obviously. So, Penn State being 8, you know, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Um, Oklahoma 9, you know, they got the big victory that they needed against Baylor, but it wasn't really enough to catapult them because, you know, Texas is not good. Um, Kansas State is good. Iowa State lose, Iowa State is ranked, but they've only but they've lost all all the big games they played. They're down there at number twenty two. Minnesota is ten. You know, Florida's number eleven. They're just gonna stick there. You know, Wisconsin, Michigan, um, twelve and thirteen. Baylor only dropped the number fourteen, so obviously, you know, didn't really affect them that much. They can still they still have control. If you don't think Baylor has control of their own destiny, they do. Minnesota still has control of their own destiny. Penn State does as well. Now it may be a long shot to beat Ohio State. They have they they have it right in front of them. You know, Minnesota's got Wisconsin. Um, potentially, you know, potentially Ohio State, or Penn State, or hell, maybe even Michigan. You know, it might if things have to really work out. Probably, but actually, no, probably not. Probably it probably wouldn't work out in Michigan's favor. I don't know. Don't, don't disregard what I said about Michigan. Um, then you got Auburn sitting there at fifteen. You know they've got three losses. Um, all to they lost the only good teams that they played, aside from beating Oregon on at the last second. Um, Notre Dame sixteen didn't really do anything. You know Notre Dame kind of just they're just kind of there. Again, I was at 17, so they move up three spots. Memphis is not a top group of five team. And I hate that term, by, by the way, group of five. Followed by Cincinnati, followed by Boise State, Oklahoma State, number 21 again. Iowa State is number 22. Number 23 is USC. Now, most polls do have USC ranked as well. They're kind of a hot and cold team. I don't really mind it. You know, Indiana hasn't played anybody. And, you know, they've lost to the only good teams they played. Texas A&M also has lost to the only good teams they played. You know, USC beat Utah. They lost to Oregon, but they did beat Utah. What did Texas A&M do? What did Texas A&M do? And then Appalachian State and SMU round up top 25. Not really a lot this week. Not really a lot happened this week. You know, it's a, you think you think that Baylor would, you know, catapult to the top 10. But no, they collapsed. Their, their collapse was disgusting. Um, you'd think Minnesota would drop out of the top ten, but no. You know, they res the committee respects them now. It, it was Minnesota's own fault that they lost, honestly. Again, not really much to say else in these rankings. That's just – it just is what it is. That's how it is. That's how the rankings are. That's going to do it. See y'all next week.